Hello everyone and welcome back to here on Caffeine, my name is Isaac and we're back playing the new tech here on Minecraft 1.6.4. It's been a little while but we had a few troubles with the new tech it being updated and stuff. Uh, first things first, we came on and then like the atomic science stuff downstairs had disappeared and then there was a new update where it reappeared but then the like uh, control rod down here didn't work so that when I came on after about three seconds this whole thing blew up and I had to go re-get some stuff. And it's, it's all been a bit of a pain, but we've got it all back up and running now. We've got two control rods, which is why things didn't work. Um, you actually need two now. We've got one right there and one around here. You can see it just under there. Uh, this is probably a better example of it. It just comes out for here, down and around, and down and around. So now when we get above the threshold limit, which I've lowered to 1,800, it, uh, the pistons go up and the control rods stop the fission reactor uh, from working. As you can see, I've lowered the limit to 1,800. So at the minute, kind of what it's doing is it's just like hitting 1,800, stopping, and then slowly cooling down to just under 1,800, then starting up again. And I think this is working quite well. We're at max power. We've filled this thing up at the minute. So um, this is kind of not doing much at the moment. We need to start using our power somewhere. Um, the quarry has just finished. The, that was using quite a bit of the power. So if we can get that started up again, that'd be pretty good. We can use our power for something. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. You probably noticed as well that I've got a sound turned off, and I'll uh, just show to you why. If I turn this on, and you can have a listen. And this noise that you can hear right now sort of just like goes on a repetitive loop. Even when I'm upstairs, you can hear it, and it's just like really is kind of annoying. So I'm going to turn sound off for now. I think what I might do in the next couple of episodes is maybe move this um, further down, or just like somewhere out of the way, somewhere noise-proof. <laughs> Um, kind of, maybe, possibly. I don't know if we have noise-proof blocks in this thing, but we can try. Uh, maybe just move it out of the way, just somewhere far away. Far, far away. Maybe get some tesseracts going. We could get tesseracts and just transfer our energy from, like, chunks away. <laughs> but uh, what I want to do this episode is, if we go outside, I've started up a little farm of uh, animals back here. We've got two cows and two sheep, which I managed to lure over with some uh, luscious wheat, which you can see has regrown in the time it's taken me to get all this stuff working again. And we've got these two cows and two sheep, and I want to start doing some Mine Factory Reloaded stuff, as you can probably see here. And I want to get a breeder to start off with, and we can put, um, what, what breeders do is they allow you to uh, breed the animals. As you can tell by, by, like, automation, you can just put wheat in there and automatically breed the animals as soon as they're ready. And you're probably wondering, why are these, why are these pens so small? And the reason is, these pens are 5x5, five by, five, uh, by default, is what I've made the pens. And that's because, by default, the um, the breeder affects a 5x5 five five area. Now, for those of you who've seen my, like, uh, Tech World 2 or Feed the Beast Monster series, you'll know that you can upgrade Mine Factory Loader Machines to do a larger area. So we could upgrade it to do, like, a 10x10 10 10 cow farm area. But for now, we're just going to leave it at 5x5. Five five. Um, if we let it go too long, we're probably going to get, like, a mass, like, congestion of cows. And But then we can take care of that. There's other stuff we can do to, uh, to fix the problem. But uh, we don't have a great source of food at the minute, so that's what the cows are kind of for. And also with the sheep, we can make what's called a rancher. That's this thing here. And this thing allows us to like automatically shear sheep. So if we just put it down, again, it works in a 5x5 five five area, so we could put like the breeder down here maybe, and then the rancher down like around here. And then it automatically breeds the sheep and also like shear them for their wool uh, every time they regrow the wool and stuff, which is pretty cool. But uh, before we get onto that, I am going to make myself an induction furnace from a thermal expansion induction furnace this thing here because in order to get power over to these guys into the uh, breeders and stuff we're gonna need more of these hardened energy conduits and i think we've only got two left um over here if i'm not mistaken in our chest yeah we've got two left so we're gonna have to go and get some more invar so we can make some hardened energy conduits and the easiest way to make invar really is to put iron and put and ferrous ingots into a um into an injection smelter. So do we actually have any pulverized, actually have any um, ferrous ingots? I'm sure we did, possibly. No? Just me? Oh, okay, well then, uh, never mind. <laughs> okay then, well, we'll put the uh, induction smelter on hold until we need it, and for now, we'll just do this, I guess. <laughs> there you go, we've got 21 in there cooking up. Okay, so hardened energy conduits, I'm pretty sure are just lead, which I think has somehow managed to make its way over here. It has lead and a redstone. And glass, I think, as well, actually, which we should have, like, a ton of in here, yeah. I put some cobblestone in this thing, which pulverizes it into sand, which melts into glass, which is uh, quite a nice way of doing it. Um, also, I took the, all the awesome stuff out of the quarry, so now it's just, like, stone, dirt, and gravel. So we've got a load of uh, stone here, which we can all pulverize down into glass. We can turn every single one of these stacks of cobblestone into glass. That's pretty awesome, if you ask me. All right, let's get back on track a little bit here. Uh, we've got everything we need, so if I type in leadstone energy, Q energy conduits like this we should just be able to make a metric 
put ten of these. Thirty should be more than enough, possibly. Maybe. Not too sure about that. Uh, let's grab a bunch of Invar and let's see if we've got enough to make some of the hardened energy conduits. Should do. We should be able to turn all of these into hardened energy conduits, I think. Yeah, kaboom. Look at that. Twenty-four. Uh, oh, apparently not. What were we, what were we missing? Uh, redstone. Oh, redstone's what we were missing. Well, wow. okay. We'll do that real quick so we can get our thirty. Ta da! Wow, really? Really? We need a little bit more redstone. <laughs> Here we go. Ta da! There we go. Thirty, finally. Okay. Now that we've done that, we should probably get on to the breeder from the mine factory reloaded stuff. Now, in order to make the breeder, we are going to need, and we do want two of these, but, but bear that in mind, we're going to need a golden apple. Uh, two golden carrots, a machine frame, some plastic sheets, some purple dye, and a redstone reception coil. I think we could pretty much do all of this. We're just going to need to get some golden apples and some golden carrots. Now, I'm pretty sure we don't have any carrots or apples lying about. Oh, wow, we've got seven carrots. That's kind of nice. So we are going to just need apples by the looks of things. Um, off camera, I did uh, make these plastic sheets. All you got to do is um, run over and cut down a mine factory loaded rubber tree, which is one that looks like that there. That's the normal oak tree. That's a uh, birch tree, the white one. And then the ones that look kind of like that are my factory load rubber trees. You cut them down, you'll get a little piece of the rubber. And if you smelt those, if I like recipe on this, uh, if you smelt those, you'll get these rubber bars. And then if you smelt those, you'll get these plastic sheets, these more plastic things. And then if you get four of those and craft them together, you will get plastic sheets. And there you go, that's how I did it. <laughs> um, okay, so we're just going to need some apples. So I'm pretty sure there's a forest just behind us. Yeah, we could have gone to the one over the river, but I don't really feel like swimming. So, let's head over here and grab ourselves some apples, hopefully. Hopefully, this should be pretty easy to get some of these. Oh, yeah, look, these are my factory load trees. So, if we cut these down, um, good thing is they do work with tree capitators. So, if we cut these down, we'll get some rubber, just so I can prove that I'm not lying. There we go. Look at that. Look at all that rubber. Look at it. Awesome. Okay, now we are going to cut down some normal trees because we want the apples. So, hopefully, we'll get two apples from one tree. But I'm going to doubt that we will. Wow, look, no apples at all. What a cheap tree. I hate it when cheese, trees are cheap. Uh, I was going to head over to the village because I didn't think we had any carrots, but we actually do. We probably got some uh, last time we were at the village. So that's quite nice. We got another apple there, which is pretty cool. And hopefully, this tree gives an apple, this tree gives an apple as well. Possibly. No? Okay. Well, there you go. What a tree. Maybe? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, two apples. Now, I don't know if a golden apple is an apple surrounded by gold or an apple surrounded by golden nuggets. So I think it might be golden nuggets. If it's gold, that's pretty expensive. <laughs> it's like um, eight gold for a golden apple. That is rather expensive, actually. Um, especially if that's true for like that and the carrots. That can't be true. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got quite a bit of gold in here. Do we have more in here? Yeah, we've got some more in there. That's good. Okay, carrots and apples. Uh, let's have a look, actually. What do we need for um, golden apples? Breeder. Golden apple, wow, it is. Jesus, okay. <laughs> right, so I think we've got enough anywhere, which is fine. There we go, two golden apples, and is a golden carrot the same thing? Oh, okay, gold carrot takes nuggets, so we're going to need uh, f four of those, because we need two for each uh, breeder. Yeah, I think that's about right. And it helps if we... Oh, we do have the carrots. Well, <laughs> I just missed those there. Let's take it like this. Ta-da! Four golden carrots, awesome. Okay, what else do we need? Uh, machine trim, I think we've got that. The plastic sheets, we've got. The redstone reception coil, we can get if we grab two redstone. Let me just gather all this gold up, which I managed to spread out my inventory. And then purple dye, which is red flowers and lapis, I think. If we turn red flowers into red dye, and then like this. Yeah, awesome. So I think we pretty much, if we got our machine frames, have everything we're going to need uh, to get on with that, possibly. Let's see. Do we have what it takes? Uh, do, 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 do. Sometimes recipes just don't seem to work in this thing, so let's just have a look. What was at the bottom? It was the conduit that we didn't make. That's probably why it didn't work. Okay, so it's just redstone, redstone, and gold. We are going to need one more of those at least, so I thought my door was open then. I was going to close that, but it's fine. It's closed. <laughs> and kaplunk, and now let's see what's when it doesn't work anyway. Oh, right, it worked. Okay. Two breeders, awesome. And then for the rancher, we're going to need another machine frame, uh, a fluid duct, some more sheets, some shears, some tin ingots, and another redstone reception coil. So two more redstone, uh, a machine frame, which is gold, glass, and um, iron, which I think we can do. So if we just do that, kaplunk, we can make twelve of them through the water. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to use all my glass. 
do we have any fluidux lying about? I think we might have some spare ones. Yeah, look at this. We've got loads of spare ones. We've got loads of spare ones. I don't know why you need fluidux um, to, like, shear sheep. Maybe it's something else that they do. Maybe it's, like, another animal that I'm not thinking of that can, like, have liquids withdrawn. Maybe, oh, cows. Yeah, it can, uh, it can milk cows, can't it? Oh, what am I talking about, Isaac? Uh, tin ingots, which we can do if we grab these two. And I think we should be good to go if we make the required components, that is. Maybe? No? What are we missing? Sheets. Uh, actually, we can... Uh, another helpful tip, you can just hit the question mark and it'll just bring up all the uh, things in sort of faint mode. Did I not bring... Oh, there's my liquiducts. There's my machine frame. Uh, this thing, some shears, and some of these guys. Oh, there we go. See? Some of them just don't work. Some of them just plain don't work. Now, we don't really need um, to, like, ranch the cows for the milk, I don't think. We don't have much of a use for milk at the minute, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, I'm just going to go to sleep, and then tomorrow we can set up our new stuffs. Okay, let's go. So, actually, I'm going to grab a shovel before we leave, because I'm going to have to dig up some terrain before we, uh, so that we can wire this stuff up. Uh, let's just grab uh, two sticks and make a an iron one. Why not? Why not? You only live once, you know, so we might as well just splurge out and get ourselves an iron shovel. Right, let's see. Where are we going to want to put these guys? I think, I think I'm going to put the breeders on the back like this. And, of course, eventually what's going to happen is we're going to have... Um, this sort of like wheat over here being like harvested automatically and then pumped over into the breeder so that the breeder just like never runs out of wheat. But for now, we can just sort of do it by hand. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's stick that one there. And then let's stick the rancher over. Yeah, I'll put it here. Why not? You can go here for now. Hopefully, the sheep doesn't escape. Ta da. Okay, right. Let's find this power line we've got. I think it's just like straight up in line with um, this quarry here. So I think here we should get one. Yeah. Okay. So let's bring that over here we are gonna have to uh oh it's okay actually i was gonna say we're gonna have to like uh dig up the floor beneath the cows but i think i might just go straight underneath them and try not to uh let them out at all all right that should be far enough actually it looks like more than far enough uh oh no we are directly above directly underneath the cows quick <laughs> quick no what oh god oh okay i don't know what that was about that seemed like a bit bit, bit of lag or something there maybe maybe Okay, that should be enough. How did you get up there? How? Get back in there. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's... Oh, I thought we were going to get out again then. All right, so we want that there. And then we're going to want the other one just along from here, which is fine. Got a little bit scared then. I thought, like, how are we going to be able to get out somehow from underneath? But it's fine. And this is there. Okay, I think I'm going to put this dirt back here and just sort of run it along underneath just for peace of mind all right let's see can we do this like so do we have enough cop uh, enough conduits looks like we do which is pretty nice oh maybe actually i'm not too sure we might be able to connect up this uh, rancher let's have a look we will see in a moment okay so that's where that is then we have to loop these conduits round to the rancher itself which i don't think oh it's going to be tight but i don't know if we have enough to do it uh, it's across here and then across again, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Can we do this? Can we do this? Who's betting on yes? Who's betting on yes? Is anyone betting on yes? I wouldn't do because I don't think we can. <laughs> Actually, I'm fairly confident we can. <laughs> we need three more of those guys. Okay, my cows have somehow... Oh, I, I was going to... Oh, wow. Wow, rookie mistake, Isaac. Rookie mistake. Go away. I was going to say my cows have somehow managed to escape. And it's because this thing is a block that they can climb over so i will replace this someday because this looks awful but for now that'll do let's go grab ourselves some of our wheat and see if we can lure this cow back out into our into its little uh, den thing here we're just gonna make this look really really ugly for a second all right come on come on where are you going how have you oh my god i forgot wow There's too many of these things there we go yeah, nice try. Nice try. Right, where's this cow gone? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. What, why is he... Come on. Come on, you flipping cow. <laughs> what is he... What? Is this because I hit him? Is this because I hit the cow? Come on. I know you want... Uh, come on. Come it. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> 
Okay, I'm gonna let him calm down. And whilst he calms down, I'm gonna harvest some more wheat, and I'll throw some in the uh, in the breeder with the uh, with the sheep, and hopefully they'll start breeding, and we should get a nice little baby sheep. Should be all well and good. Okay, are you gonna are you gonna stop faffing around? No, you're gonna trap yourself in there. Fine, fine by me. You can stay in there for now. All right, <laughs> let's get the breeders have lit up, which is nice. Let's throw them in there, and it should. Um, okay, so it's like every time this flicks. Oh, look, we got a baby sheep. Awesome. Okay, how did you get out? Oh, there's a block there. Okay. Well, I'll let you off this time. <laughs> right, come on. Come on. Okay, that's not going to happen. Let's go make ourselves a few more conduits and see if we can get that cow to calm down. But uh, if not, I'll just go find another one. It should be, it shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. I think there's quite a few by the village um, over there. Possibly. Okay, so leadstone. We've got glass. We've got... Redstone, we do not have, we do really need to go mine for some more uh, redstone. Oh, we need to get our quarry up and running again. Which I think I will do off camera and sort of just do a big quarry out before next ep episode, maybe? Possibly? Depends if I get around to it. Might do. Redstone, right. We'll make another 12 of those, that should be enough. And then, have we got the invar for it? We have, so, hardened energy conduits look something like uh, this, if I can get the right button, there we go. 12 of those guys. Awesome stuff. Let's go wire this up and see if this cow has finally calmed down. I see. Maybe. No? Just me? No, okay. It doesn't look like he has. Let's wire this up. Awesome. So there we go. We are going to need to put a chest behind this thing because otherwise it's just going to spit wall out to nothingness, which uh, is not really the plan. That cow still looks like it's just running around like a headless lunatic. Uh, let's put some of this back down so it looks a bit nicer than it does at the minute. Put that there. Come on, cow. Let's eat some beef. Maybe that'll um, encourage him to come over. Hello? Okay, there he is. He's still a bit jittery. Come on. You know what? Forget this. Forget this. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. I'm going to call the episode there, and between now and next episode, I'll go get another cow from the village or something, drag him over. Uh, I'm not going to do it on camera, because it is quite a walk trying to get a cow like across that river. There's like a river between us and the, the village, which is kind of a pain to get cows and the sheep across. But um, yeah, thanks very so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like if you want to see more tech and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time.